Hey friends, it's Alex Beaton, AKA your favorite launch strategist. And I'm coming to you today from here in my office. And I wanted to talk to you guys about lead magnet mistakes. I think a lot of times online business owners overlook the importance of their lead magnets. You know, a lead magnet is one of the most important things that you will have in your online business, whether you sell online courses or membership sites. A lead magnet is what helps strengthen your marketing efforts before you go into sales mode. So whether you are launching or you have an evergreen model, focusing on creating a really high quality lead magnet is going to do your business the world of good. Whether you have a lead magnet or not, hopefully this video is going to help you identify areas of improvement so that you can feel so much more confident in your lead magnet and really make sure that it is doing the job it is meant to be doing. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three of the most common mistakes that I see online course creators make when it comes to their lead magnets. Let's start off with what is a lead magnet and why does it matter? So a lead magnet is something that you've created, ideally something digital. It could be a PDF, it could be a small short video, something that you can put in front of your ideal client and say, hi ideal clients, I've created this thing specifically to help you with the problem that I know that you have. If you want to get it, I'm giving this as a free gift to everyone who signs up for my newsletter. So obviously the purpose of a lead magnet is to get their email address in exchange for the lead magnet, right? Hot random tip for you, something to include on the form when they sign up for the lead magnet is their Instagram handle. It is so beneficial when it comes to actually following through on the sale. This is something I've recently started doing is just including that little Instagram handle section when they sign up. So you're asking for their name, their email address, and their Instagram handle. So you're communicating to them that in exchange for their email, they are getting whatever your lead magnet is. And this is really beneficial because it helps you build your email list. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with the quote, what you focus on grows. It's not even a quote, it's just like a concept. What you focus on grows. And your email list is 100% one of the things that you should be focusing on, which is why having a lead magnet is so important. The lead magnet is what draws in your ideal clients. It's what gets them to actually sign up to your newsletter, where you can then start wooing them, nurturing them, and getting them to that phase where they're ready to hit the buy button. So let's jump into the three most common mistakes that I see course creators make with their lead magnets. The first common mistake that I see is that the lead magnet is not bite-sized. So I know that you guys are trying to deliver with your lead magnet. You're trying to go above and beyond with your lead magnet. But when you give them a PDF that's like a million pages long, they're never going to get through that PDF. One of the most important things when it comes to your lead magnet is making sure that it's something that's going to give them a quick win. You are trying to show them your expertise. You're trying to prove to them your authority. You're trying to build a relationship with them in which they know to expect that they're going to get high value content from you day in and day out. Maybe not day in and day out. I mean, that's, that's a, a little much, but every single time that they engage with you, sign up for something from you, see you online, you want it to be that exchange of value, right? So it needs to be valuable, yes, but it also needs to be bite-sized. It cannot be something that is overwhelming to them. And I see this mistake again and again and again. So you want to avoid super long, lengthy videos or PDFs. You want to avoid solving a million different problems for them within this one lead magnet. You want it to be something short, sweet, simple, to the point, quick and easy wins, bite size. You want them to see the opt-in page for the lead magnet and immediately be like, this is a problem that I really need solving. One small problem. And here's the solution. I'm just going to sign up for this really quickly and take a look at whatever the lead magnet is. That's the kind of response that you want from them. Even for me personally, I know that I created lead magnets that I was really trying to go above and beyond the value and it just ended up completely overwhelming my ideal clients. 
and really getting them to a phase where they're like, if I can't get through her lead magnet, how the heck am I going to get through her course? So bear that in mind. The second most common mistake that I see online course creators make when it comes to their lead magnet is that they're not creating their lead magnet specifically with their ideal client's problem in mind. So think about your online course or your membership site or whatever your digital product is and think about the specific problem that it solves. You want your lead magnet to speak specifically to a portion of that problem. And if it's not that specific problem that your lead magnet is helping them solve, it should be a problem that's directly related, very close in nature, complementary. You want it to be something that is 100% for your ideal clients. Mm -hmm. So think about your ideal clients. Think about the problems that they have. Think about the sisterly problems that may be like, you know, the sister to the big problem that your online course solves. What are the little things that they need to figure out the few steps before they're actually ready to solve the problem that your online course solves? The third most common mistake that I see in lead magnets is that you've created a lead magnet that's not actually something that your ideal client needs. And this is why market research could not be more important. I highly recommend my clients to constantly be doing market research as often as they can without it being like too overwhelming for their audience, but collecting data on your audience, figuring out, you know, what does the market actually need? What are they actually struggling with? And a lot of times the things that they're struggling with the most that make for the best lead magnets are super simple problems. They are things that you as the expert find so ordinary and so easy and so like roll your eyes, like no one's going to find this valuable, but your ideal clients will actually find it the most valuable thing ever. So my advice is to know your ideal clients to the best of your ability, do your market research and find out what are the missing puzzle pieces, the gaps in their knowledge that they have when it comes to your topic, the problem that your course solves. And how can you speak directly to that problem in a way that's simplified, easy, and extremely magnetic and attractive? Okay, so I know I said I was only gonna give you three tips, but you know me, I like to under-promise and over-deliver. So I'm going to give you a fourth bonus tip. And this, again, is a mistake that I see a lot. And it has to do with how you package your lead magnet. You could have the best lead magnet. It could be bite sized solving the right problem. It could be speaking directly to your ideal clients. But if your opt-in page does not correctly communicate the value of the lead magnet, people are not going to sign up for it. Your opt-in page should be something that you're constantly working to improve. It's something that you should be looking at the performance of it, looking at how many visits is that page getting? How many opt-ins is that page getting? And asking yourself, what can I do to improve on these statistics? You want to add testimonials to that page. You want to be very clear about what they're signing up for, what it is that they're going to be getting, what is the pain point that this lead magnet specifically solves. I think a lot of times we pour so much effort into the actual sales portion of having an online business that we overlook these pages, like the opt-in page, for example, that really makes a difference on our marketing efforts, but isn't as sexy and doesn't get us like an immediate return on our investment. So definitely always be looking at your opt-in page. Put a reminder in your calendar to every single month, take a look at it, look at your stats and be like, okay, what, what does my marketing brain say that I can do to improve on this page? Constantly be improving on your opt-in page. Okay, so to summarize the lead magnet mistakes that I always see, number one, your lead magnet is not bite-sized. It's not giving them easy wins. It is something that is overwhelming to them and they end up never actually completing it. So prioritize making it something that's easy for them to finish and easy for them to do. Number two, you're not solving a strategic problem. You wanna think about the problem that your lead magnet solves being something that's very closely related to the problem that your online course is solving. That way you're making sure to attract the right ideal client. Number three, you're helping them solve a problem that they don't really need. So it's not really acting as a magnet to your ideal client. It's just kind of out there. People don't really need it. You haven't done your market research. Do your market research. 
And number four, the packaging of your opt-in page, the packaging of your lead magnet, really making sure that you're looking at that opt-in page again and again and priming it to be as successful as possible. In case you haven't heard, applications to join Together We Launch open on the 23rd of July, so mark your calendars. I'm so excited, and if you have loved this video, then you're absolutely going to love the experience that you get in Together We Launch. In Together We Launch, we have an entire section talking about creating a lead magnet experience specifically with your ideal client in mind to attract the right people in masses to make sure that you have as many people signed up to your email list ready to go for the day that you open your cart to your online course. A massive concept in Together We Launch is the rinse and repeat strategy. And what that means is that we've created a launch framework where you are constantly reviewing the launch that you just had, analyzing it, tweaking it, rinsing and repeating it, launch after launch after launch. Literally, we call it launch stacking. So it's like you're stacking your launches to build off of your previous success. This time around, Together We Launch is 100% pre-recorded trainings. That means that you can watch the trainings at your own pace, in your own time, and still have those weekly calls where you can come and get your questions answered. If you know you're a great fit for Together We Launch, then make sure to get on the wait list. I cannot emphasize this enough to you. The wait list members are going to be getting the best, most special offer for Together We Launch. So you can sign up for that over at togetherwelaunch.com. And if you want some instant value when it comes to your launch, then make sure to check out our free quiz. We have created it specifically for online course creators to help them get clear on which part of their launch they need to focus on improving the most. So this is actually our lead magnet. So go and check it out. The link should be somewhere around this video, probably in the description box, but go and sign up for that now. It's 100% free and you're going to love checking out your quiz results. Hey, online course creator, are you ready to plan your six figure launch? The ultimate launch bootcamp is coming on July 5th. Trust me when I say you do not want to miss out on this. For more information, go to ultimatelaunchbootcamp.com or click the link in the description. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps to support my channel. And I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and that you are planning your next big launch, hopefully taking all of the lead magnet advice from this video. Have a good one. Bye.